first day I will speak in English because it's uh, better for me. Uh, also, today I will talk about preparing an environment for uh, uh, reinforcement learning for a real uh, industrial robot arm. Uh, uh, the, the work is uh, under development, so uh, I, uh, I'm waiting your comments, your advices, and also your criticism. Uh, 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 the goal of our project is uh, uh, to prepare a gym-like environment to test uh, reinforcement learning uh, robotics, uh, uh, reinforcement learning algorithm on industrial robotic arm uh, in our laboratory. It's like uh, it's called uh, the arm is called uh, uh, Rosen balls. Mm. Um, firstly, the goal of the learning was just we have to wait. Yeah. So we have this robot. We have an object, and we have uh, a goal. So we just have to put the object in, inside the goal. Mm. So uh, first, we have to look at it from a robotics uh, point of view. In robotic term terminology, uh, every system uh, has three main parts, perception, planning, and control. Uh, for our case, uh, like we have, uh, firstly we have uh, that simple environment, simple uh, mission. After that, we will uh, Im like improve that, develop that uh, to handle uh, more complex uh, tasks. Uh, but for this case, we have decided to uh, make the learning on uh, the uh, planning and control parts, but for perception, we will use handcrafted uh, image processing uh, for this point. After that, we will use uh, special auto uh, special auto encoders uh, to find the uh, features uh, from image. So we have decided to uh, add colors to our environment. Uh, uh, and also, uh, the camera is uh, on the grapper. Um, so, I will talk about that, but just like it's here. The same, uh, the robot have to take uh, uh, the object and put it in the wall. That's it. Uh, in robotics, it's like a real-world environment, so we have to take care, care about uh, something. So firstly, we have prepared a helper class for our robot because, like uh, the uh, the ready or the company API was like somehow uh, uh, not not that flexible. So we have prepared a helper class using REST API calls. So now we can freely control the robot, and also we can uh, get uh, information uh, that we like. Uh, we are going to use, for example, we will use uh, current uh, uh, motors, current uh, like uh, in our following uh, following exper experiments. Uh, also, we have uh, we have faced a problem because, like in camera, uh, when we take a photo, we need. Uh, the camera will give us a, a photo from the buffer, which is like, in case of reinforcement learning, we take an action. So, so the image was like uh, an old image, not the image after action. So also we have prepared a, a bufferless video capture class to get the right image for after our action. Uh, and also we've prepared an uh, environment and simulation uh, similar to the environment, uh, real-world environment in Philip simulation to test uh, the robot. Uh, here just we will start with the perception part. Uh, image processing was like a simple one using OpenCV uh, from image. We, uh, we received HSP image, we convert it to HSP. Up after that, it's resorting and filtering. Uh, we have contours, uh, so we take the object. Uh, we are using features, which is the center of the object. 
the area percentage, like uh, area percentage uh, from the whole image, and also the rotation and uh, angle uh, for the object. Uh, and here we have tested our image processing. So after that, we, we have uh, built the environment. Uh, we have actions, which is like a change in the motor commands. It's continuous from minus 5 to 5 degrees. We have observation, which is like the output of uh, image processing part. Uh, we have rewards, which depends on the observation and goal states. Uh, and also it's done when, uh, when we reach the goal. Uh, here it's like uh, I think it's uh, we can discuss it a lot because like uh, we know information and person learning it's a, uh, an optimization problem so we have a goal to uh, maximize the reward so here uh, how could uh, the reward function uh, uh, affect uh, or impact on our learning so I have tried firstly uh, the pink one which is like it. Uh, 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 to x uh, to uh, to uh, x squared. Um, I don't know, but according to my experiment, it, it the learning was was uh, like uh, worse than uh, the blue one, which is like uh, one to one plus x two. Uh, somehow. Uh, uh, I, uh, also, we have like uh, one of uh, variants we have uh, to use the log, but I have used the blue one because I need uh, the uh, reward to be between zero and uh, uh, some some scale. So for me, I'm using the blue one. So you decided to choose continuous reward, why yeah. not discrete? Uh, because like um, my reward, it's like, uh, for example, part of the reward is the, the distance between uh, uh, the center of that and the system. So, uh, uh, <laughs> um, like, do you have uh, an advice or something for... No, no, I just... just <laughs> I don't know because, uh, because like uh, it's kind of uh, for reaching problems or um, in robotics uh, we mostly use continuous rewards because like uh, we decide that uh, we have distance with like uh, Euclidean distance so it may be maybe more useful to use uh, I don't know maybe it <laughs> we, can, we can try uh, did, did you use any discretization for in, in, in the time uh, during the uh, it's uh, uh, do, do you send uh, the reward for the environment to your manipulator uh, each step that you affected in the environment? Yeah? And, uh, um, it is some. It's not a continuous uh, reward. Uh, yeah, it's it, it, it is a uh, discrete reward. Yeah. It's like a reward function, but for re for the robot, it here is it's just like one in time. So. Yeah. Uh, like to formulate uh, our um, task, uh, we have two parts. Uh, uh, the task part one is like to reach the goal, to see the point. Uh, and after that, we set the position, go to the next goal, which is the, the object. And after uh, close the gripper, take the object and put it uh, uh, on the goal. Uh, it was like it, it's related to image processing part here, so uh, I think it's hard to uh, 
explain it uh, just like that, but this is the case. So we have two calls in our problem. Uh, and here I have to ask uh, Alexei about uh, his ideas about uh, how, how we to solve that problem, the best way to solve that problem. Um, now to the learning part. Uh, I have just started with the learning part. I have used uh, code that uh, I have worked uh, uh, ago. Uh, so now I'm experimenting with two of, uh, firstly, the image is, uh, uh, is from UC Berkeley Deep RL uh, course. Uh, now I'm experimenting with uh, soft after critic and simulation. Uh, and also I'm experimenting with Bico, which is like shallow RL uh, on the railroad. Uh, uh, here are the results from soft after critic. It's uh, still, it's, uh, I'm still experimenting. Uh, what we can note here is that uh, to get uh, good results, we need at least 4,000 uh, time steps, which is like not feasible in on road. It's not reasonable to run the robot for, for example, two days or more. Uh, the rewards, it's uh, more or less, it needs more training than that to get the best rewards, uh, to get the best results. Uh, while on the other hand, uh, I have experimented with Bilko. Uh, the code for Bilko we have uh, uh, like uh, developed last year. Uh, we can see that after just 11 trials, uh, the robot can reach somehow the goal. Uh, it's uh, it's somehow it's hard for Bilko because like Bilko have constraint on the uh, 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 on the reward function because you, we need differentiable reward function and in my case uh, I have like that distance it's like already okay but for area and for rotation it's somehow hard for Bilko uh, so it's uh, all, it's still uh, under development uh, that result is just, just two, two hours ago uh, but uh, what is good about Bilko the running time. Here I have received that results after running uh, for just 500 seconds on the rear robot. The most simplish efficient way. Um, here a trial from Bilko to see that. So it's just like one of the 12 trials needed to reach the goal. Mm. But here, like, uh, it's some more, it's just 38 uh, seconds. Mm. It's not an optimal one, but it's just like that. Um, now what we, uh, what we will work on, we will work on something between uh, soft actor critic and between Bilko because Bilko has a lot of constraints. Soft actor critic and also uh, uh, model free RL has, needs a lot of time. It's not good for robotics. So we will look between them. Uh, one of uh, like uh, variants is bits, and maybe we can develop our new algorithm. That's it. Uh, Nice.